Garrett McReynolds, grandson and performer with Jesse McReynolds, star of the Grand Old Opry, and legendary bluegrass and Appalachian Mountain performer. Uh, we're going to have a great uh, time performing with you. A couple years ago, we performed at the Lions Fiddle Festival together. Yep. I know you play a lot of fiddle festivals around the country. Do you, do you enjoy the fiddle festivals? They really preserve the rich tradition, don't they, Garrett? Yeah, yeah, they absolutely do. And it's good to see a lot of the young people getting into the, the bluegrass music, because uh, you know, that's the next generation carrying on with what my grandfather's doing. So it's really good to go to those and see all the young musicians you know, really getting into it. I know from talking with your grandfather, Jesse McReynolds, that he got into it because his family would have picket sessions, maybe on the front porch or something like that, when he was a little boy and was just immersed in that mountain music. Well, how about for you? You came along a little bit later. How did it all unfold for you? Well, I was when I was younger, I was shy. I didn't like to get in front of people. I didn't like being on stage. And then through school and church, I joined the choir and got into doing drama at school and at church. And, Got into playing guitar when I was about 16, so I was kind of a late bloomer when it came to that. But uh, once I started playing guitar, I just kept practicing and kept playing, and eventually built up enough courage to ask if I could go on the road with him. And <laughs> luckily, he said yes, and uh, I guess the rest is history. So I've been playing with him ever since. How did that work? What do you say? Hey, hey, Grandpa Jesse, legendary star of the Grand Ole Opry, with millions of people that know you around the world. How about if I just jump on stage and play with you? Well, um, actually, I was only supposed to do one song. And so, you know, I asked him, and I was like, I'd like to go on the road with you some. And he said, yeah, you know, it'd be okay. So I learned one song, and I thought that's all I was going to do. But he told me to stay on stage for the rest, and so I was okay. So I stayed on and learned more songs as I went along. And so I guess I'm his go-to guitar and tenor guy. There you go. So you're performing regularly with Jesse. Yes, sir. What did it feel like the first time you got on the Opry? It was pretty nerve-wracking. Was it intimidating? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> I can only imagine. Because <laughs> it was a full house that night. It was a, they had a big gospel night, so it was a lot of people there. But it was a lot of fun. If you got that first round of applause, it felt better then? Yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm thinking for a shy guy who was shy when he was younger, yeah. getting up in that situation. What a, what a thrill to be there with your grandfather. Oh, yeah. Sure looks like you're going to carry on that tradition. You also get out there and play with a band of your own from time to time, don't you? Yeah, we do. Uh, it's actually called the McReynolds Tradition. Uh, it's uh, my cousin Luke and my sister and myself and our uncle Darren. He plays bass with us. So we travel around a little bit and uh, you know, we carry on the Jim and Jesse music, but we do some of our own stuff at the same time. So here you have a young guy who was raised in the mountain tradition of music. He eventually ends up going on stage at the Grand Old Opry with his grandfather, Jesse McReynolds. Now is continuing that tradition of mountain and family music with the McReynolds tradition. And folks, I'm going to tell you, you're going to love seeing Garrett McReynolds when he performs with Jesse or with his own band. And tell the folks where they might be able to find you if they can't find you actually out on the road, maybe online or something like that. Uh, well, you can look up uh, jimandjesse.com and that'll connect you with Jim and Jesse's music, and or you can look at the McReynoldsTradition.com. We're also on Facebook um, and MySpace, so you can look at the McReynolds Tradition on Facebook and MySpace and listen to some of our music. And uh, I guess that's about it. Okay, Garrett, Garrett McReynolds, thanks very much. Thank Always you. a pleasure being with you and your grandfather and your band and making good old mountain music.